From LA Late News Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is the Midday Report on LA Late. Help is here, says, says the President of the United States, as a $1,400 third stimulus check press tour, no joke, is underway today. The President will go around the country talking about your $1,400 third stimulus check. But this channel will be telling you where it is. In this recording, I'll explain to you when you're going to get direct deposit of your $1,400 third stimulus check. I'll be going over Direct Express as well of your $1,400 third stimulus check. I'll be going over questions about who can take your $1,400 third stimulus check. And I'll be going over the paper check receipt of the $1,400 third stimulus check as well. Meantime, the IRS tracking tool of the $14 third stimulus check remains a confusing factor. That will be covered in this video as well. The FOMC meeting of the Federal Reserve gets underway tomorrow, and this is huge because the Treasury yields remain in flux, and the Federal Reserve will have to address that question. Stocks making move continue to heat up today as a changing economic force is underway. It's noontime, LA, but my question is, and millions of Americans are asking as well, if the lunch being served at the White House is BLT. Biden loves taxes because a new report says that the fourth stimulus package, which could pay you $12,000, may be paid by raising your taxes through the roof. I'll have all these breaking developments as LA gets underway with noon time, home time, or the midday show, whatever you want to call it, starting right now on LA Light. How are you? It's a big day as the pre president goes across the country talking about your $1,400 third stimulus check. But when are you receiving it? I have all the details for you starting right now. How are you? It's the midday report. The, the rigatoni is shaking and the, the jello is jiggling. I'm here and you're here. And thank you for joining me on Home LA, your midday lighthearted report about what's going on from Wall Street to Main Street. I have all the details about when you're getting your $14 third stimulus check, how you can track it, how you cannot track it. What about Direct Express for the stimulus check? What about SSI and SSI about the stimulus check? And what about the paper check? Meantime, I have big news across the board about four stimulus. Yes, four stimulus checks as well. If you've not subscribed, today is the day to subscribe. Boy, we've been off to a good start today. I've been seeing the love and I'm loving you back. There's a lot of love on this channel today. So thank you for tuning in and great numbers on Mornings LA. Let's keep it going on noontime. Meantime, programming note, if you did not see the exciting news, wow, Early Mornings LA is back. It's back every day now on the channel with new shows every day starting at 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then tonight, early, excuse me, tonight, Evenings LA returns for its second night. It's back on, baby. Last night was through the roof. 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. All right, let's get to the details. Your $1,400 third stimulus check could land in your bank account today. But let me explain when you would receive direct deposit of the stimulus check and Every single thing you need to know about direct deposit of a stimulus check is covered in this video starting right now. IRS sent out direct deposits of the stimulus checks on Friday. There was one single push by the Treasury on Friday of all direct deposits of stimulus checks. The push is not this week. The push is not March 17th. It was last Friday. Rather, the question that viewers are wondering is what day are they physically going to receive the stimulus check? But first, let me go over that push. On Friday, IRS pushed out the check electronically to three groups of people who are going to receive it electronically. Is that you? Let me go over who it, they are. First group are people who receive electronic benefits from the IRS or the U.S. government on a regularly monthly basis. Those can be people on SSI, Social Security, Railroad benefits, Veterans benefits, and disability, 
or any type of other social security or federal benefits. Examples are people who receive those benefits on a debit card, on, in a bank checking account, or a savings account. It can also be people who receive it on Direct Express, which is a Direct Express federal card, or called Direct Express card, a way that some people receive their federal benefits. Those are all in first group. You will be receiving this electronically. The great news is that IRS knows who you are, knows where you are, and pays you on a monthly basis. So they have no difficulty in sending you this payment. One of the things I covered in one of the earlier videos today, which is important to remind you, is that the date at which you receive your stimulus check is not the same day in which you receive your benefits payments. So let's say you receive your benefits payments on the 30th every month. They're not holding your stimulus check to send it with the benefits payment, and it has nothing to do with the benefits payments. They're separate instruments. All right, the second group that will receive it by direct deposit are people who receive the first and second stimulus also by direct deposit successfully. The third group that would receive it by direct deposit are people who have a tax preparing company, you know, the major ones, that give you refunds onto a card, a card under their brand name. This would include you. You would get your stimulus check that way. And also people who filed a 2020 tax return early and had it processed. People who are not receiving a stimulus check electronically are people who filed a tax return for 2020, trying to update that tax return, that direct deposit account information, but the tax return still shows processing. It's too late to update it. Now, how about the paper check? When are you receiving the paper check? Well, close to 85 to 95 percent of Americans had received their paper check under the second stimulus package within three weeks after it became law. So you want to use that date as a benchmark for yourself for this stimulus package. Sec stimulus checks for paper purposes under third stimulus will be going out this week and will start arriving next week and the week after. Watch for both a beige paper check envelope or a white envelope for a debit card from IRS. They may be sending both. All right, let's cut back to that direct deposit. What do we know and what can I update you on noontime about direct deposit? Well, thousands of viewers received direct deposits of the $14 stimulus check on Friday. More received them on Saturday. And some received them today. The receipt of the stimulus check has nothing to do with IRS. Let me explain. There are two sides of a transaction that's involving a stimulus check. The first is the push, and the second is the receipt. The push is finished. The push occurs on Friday. IRS did set out the stimulus checks on Friday. There is nothing else happening from IRS, meaning IRS is not waiting to set out stimulus checks on the 17th. They are not doing stages of pushes. They did the push already. What's happening on your side is the receipt and the receipt depends on which bank you do business with or which card you have that's receiving the funds. Ultimately, the day in which you receive the funds is determined by only one factor, one factor and one factor only, who you do banking business with. And it's really hard to know if they don't announce it. Small banks, big banks, commercial banks, credit unions, all have been paying out stimulus checks on Friday and Saturday. So it's not a byproduct of how big or small they are. It has to do with their banking policies. If your bank is a bank that has announced they're doing it on March 17th, that's good. So at least you know something about a particular date. But if you don't have any information specifically from your bank, they have not announced it on their website or their social media account, or you haven't heard anything elsewhere, there's no way to particularly know what date your bank is going to do it. Now, here's something you need to know about the receipt of the funds. There's three ways you can get the funds. One, an automatic appearance of the funds in the account. Just poof, you look, and it's available funds for you to withdraw. The second way is it could show something like processing, meaning it shows $1,400 processing. You can't withdraw it, but the funds are sitting there in the account. And the third way is where it would show processing and then switch to paid. Well, most of the people will likely see the second and third situation. We'll start by processing and then showing to pay. How do you know how long one step is to the other? Again, this would be a byproduct of what you've seen with your bank in the past. So if someone has sent you money before and it usually takes one day to clear, this would also take one day to clear. If it usually clears the same day, this would also clear the same day. What are the days it could clear? Monday through Saturday. 
because Friday is a clearing hot night and it could post on Saturday morning. It could not post on a Sunday. That is what I can update you so far. Now, what we have seen is that Direct Express has yet to, of viewers that I have heard, not yet paid any deposits as of Friday and Saturday or released any funds as of Friday, Saturday. We have also seen a series of big banks say March 17th. But what does this March 17th date mean? And what does that IRS tracking tool mean? And does the IRS tracking tool really work? I'll have more details about what you should expect between now and March 17th in a second. But first, let me tell, turn to another breaking developing story, which is minutes ago, a new report came out that the president is very excited about forced stimulus, but may anchor it with massive, massive taxes. A new report looks at a suggestion that the White House may be taxing far more than what we hear from Elizabeth Warren of a wealth tax, rather a tax from everyone from the middle class and up. Is this true or is this not true? We have yet to hear from the White House. But what the White House is doing today is that it is going across the country to promote this third stimulus check and third stimulus package. This is important for you for what I've been detailing over the last week. This could start stimulus stampede. Help is Here is a tour being launched by the White House to inform Americans about what is in the stimulus package. It's good for Americans because they'll know what they can get. It's bad for you because there'll be competition to get what's available to get. Why are they doing this? They're doing this because of the Senate races next year and the midterm elections. The White House is sending members of its team to key battleground states like Georgia, like, uh, like New York, New Jersey, because it wants to win these key battleground states. And those, set, those members have gone out just today and will continue through Friday. Now, it's being anchored with a press campaign where commercials will run in those markets touting the stimulus package. But what's important for you to know is not so much what they're doing, but what, uh, what could be the result of it. There's a fortune of money that I can get for you in this third stimulus package, five, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000. And while I can tell you what's in there, the White House has yet to tell Americans what's in there. So why is the White House doing this? Because under the Obama administration, Barack Obama lost the midterm elections severely to the Republicans because he passed a really good recovery act and then failed to tell the Americans what's in it. The White House admits they're doing the, con the complete opposite by going on road tour to tell Americans what they can get. This could impact you because ultimately, if you're trying to get an EIDL grant of $5,000 or a restaurant grant of $5 million, or you're trying to get rent, utilities, food, internet of five, six, seven thousand dollars $7,000, you're trying to get mortgage assistance, suddenly you may have more competition to get that money because the White House is going across the country telling people it's now available for you, go get it. But what's also important is what's happening this week, and that is the FOMC meeting. The Federal Open Market meeting is set to start March 16th and 17th, and this is the first time the Federal Reserve will speak about your stimulus since the stimulus package has been passed. The Federal Reserve is important for the issue of forced stimulus because the White House and the Federal Reserve both believe that unemployment may not be normal until next week. Jad Yellen, your Treasury spoke, Secretary, spoke about it on Sunday. If that's true, that would mean that forced stimulus is just around the corner. And how much is forced stimulus? It's $2,000 a month for at least six months, most insiders say. The official statement from Democrats from both the House and Senate in a letter to the White House is reoccurring monthly checks. By all account, it's $12,000 at least, which is more than $10,000 of hazard pay, six times the amount of $24 of SSI and SSDI, and a lot more than FPUC Retro. This is really great news for you. And the force stimulus push started two weeks ago. And I will be on top of force stimulus across the board for you. Because guess what? You get it. If you're on SSI and SSDI, you get this $12,000. If you are on benefits, you get this $12,000. If you make less than $45,000, you get this $12,000. This is a huge amount of money, and this is the first time that Democrats have stepped forward to get this money. But the Federal Reserve this week will have to address the U.S. Treasury yields because ultimately the Treasury yields may get very skittish. 
What are the Treasury yields going to say? More about that in a second, but let me cut back to third stimulus. The third stimulus check is available to some viewers, but then not available to others. How do you know if that is you and what is the significance of the March 17th date? Let me explain what's going on. The March 17th date is much of nothing except that some big banks have chosen that as a date for the funds. Now, let me explain that first. When banks say March 17th is the effective date, it can mean a lot of different things at a lot of different banks. Let me show you all the permutations, all the possibilities of what could happen on March 17th. Possibility number one. It shows the funds are pending on March 17th and they're available on March 18th. Possibility number two, it shows the funds pending on March 17th and available a few days after March 17th. Or possibility number three, the funds are available to withdraw on March 17th. We simply just don't know from the big banks or the banks that are using this March 17th date what its significance is. In a second, I'm going to tell you what the significance of seeing March 17th in the IRS Track My Stimulus Check tool means as well. But what I want you to understand is that once funds are in your account, you can withdraw them. If they're sitting in your account, you can withdraw them. So if you see them there, go and get them and take them out. One of the topics I thought of recording today, but I've yet to record it, is what not to use your stimulus check money on. And there's actually been a lot of broadcast news reports that are really quite shocking about the subject. I'm going to leave that subject alone for now, but needless to say, I'm not particularly happy about the news reports that say upwards of 40% of people under the age of 30 may be using their stimulus check to buy Bitcoin. Yes. (laughs) Let's continue. So the $1,400 third stimulus check, where can you really learn about when it's coming? And is there a way to physically know the date? And how can you know what date it will rise? Is there a way to actually track it? And is there a way to actually know exactly what date the funds are available? And what about that IRS tracking tool? Does it really work? Or is it conf- or is it actually giving confusing wrong information? Of all those details and more, but stay with me first for a commercial break. I will be back in 60 seconds. First is hear a little bit about the community page. Right. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings at 8 at 9 a.m. Home LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Light. During the commercial break, Timothy asks exactly the question I'm about to answer, which is, well, if the IRS tool is not particularly reliable, is there any way to know exactly the date you're going to get your stimulus check? And there actually is an answer to that, and it's yes. And I have all that details right now. But if you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Thank you for all the love on Mornings LA. We had three separate shows, which all did well. One about tracking the check in general. One about Direct Express and the stimulus check. And finally, and the IRS tracking tool and the stimulus check. Three separate shows. If you missed any of them, they're now archived on the channel to go watch. I want to go to Timothy's question, because that's actually where I was going to pick up. 
what can you do to actually physically know the date you're receiving the stimulus check? This is what's going on. IRS launches launched three tools last year. And of those three tools, are they effective? The first one was the non-filer filing. That if you wanted to update your information with the IRS about your stimulus, you were able to do it. Well, that tool is no longer with us. So if you want to update anything with IRS, you can't use it. If it worked for you before, you that's great, but you cannot use it to fix new problems. Then if you go to irs.gov, they do have a tracking tool. And when you go in there and track your stimulus check, one or two possibilities will start. First, it'll either provide you no information or it'll provide you some information. If it provides you no information, understand that is not accurate. Meaning, if it shows zero information, that does not, not mean you're not getting a stimulus check. I know that's a double negative, but let me make it clear. If it shows zero information, you're still getting a stimulus check. The fact that it shows no information should not be cause for alarm and saying, oh my God, I'm not getting a stimulus check. If you do the IRS tracking tool and it shows a date in there, then what should that tell you? Again, it's not reliable. It is reliable in that a check has been sent. That's good news. It's also reliable as to potentially the amount of the check. So if you're a household of four and you see a four, a four, a four times $1,400 amount in there, that's really great news. At least you know they have the right amount of the check. But if the information is otherwise not what you think it should be, do not be cause for alarm. For example, let's say you're a family of three and it only shows $1,400 for the stimulus check, not to be cause for alarm. Or let's say you go in there and it says March 17th. What should you say about that? Nothing. The March 17th date means absolutely nothing for many reasons. First, Viewers think the March 17th means the date that the IRS is sending out the stimulus check. No. Then viewers think that that means the date that you're going to get the stimulus check in your bank account. No. Then other viewers think the stimulus check it means when your bank received the stimulus check from IRS. Also no. The 17th is really a misnomer of a date. In 2020, the IRS tracking tool told viewers a particular date. And this was the result. Viewers got their stimulus check nearly a week before that date, or sometimes got the stimulus check weeks after that date. The date was unreliable for both being too early or too late. Now, with that, you would say, is the tool useful for anything? If it gives you some benefits, then fine. If it, but otherwise, it's not a reliable tool. The same goes for the transcript option in the IRS website, where you go in, do a transcript under your name, and see the results. So what is the best way to know exactly what date direct deposit of your stimulus check is going to land? One, your bank has actually issued a new statement that refers to a particular date. That will suggest that either the funds are available to withdraw on that date or will be starting to pend on that date, which is good news. Then 24 to 48 hours thereafter, you have the funds. Two, this is probably, singly, the best indicator of when you're receiving your money. Someone else who also uh, does business at your bank got their stimulus check that day. If you know a friend in any state across the country who does business at your bank and you, they receive their stimulus check on today, or received it tomorrow, then you're receiving your stimulus check today or tomorrow. Because banks clear funds the same way across the board because they have the same banking policy nationally. More importantly, let me say it this way. Banking policies do not change state to state. They are national banking policies. So all the funds sent out by IRS are being routed and being cleared by a national registry from that national bank. And that clearance will occur the same time for everyone. Additionally, if you log into your states, into your, into your uh, account, and you see something pending, that's the best indicator that's around the corner. But here's a trick. While online websites may not provide you any more information that funds are pending, and while IRS, calling up IRS is absolutely of no assistance, and calling up your bank is generally of no assistance, this is one of the few exceptions when calling your bank is helpful.
Your bank can tell you if funds pending today are available tomorrow. For example, if you log into your bank's portal right now and you see funds pending or processing but not available for withdrawal, it will not say what day the funds are available. That's how bank websites look. But if you call your bank on the phone, they will tell you when that pending amount is available for withdrawal. And there you go. It's very, very straightforward when you understand how the system works. But guess what? There could be a lot more stimulus than just $1,400. Let me cut to those details right now. Democrats from both the House and the Senate want monthly stimulus checks. They want those monthly stimulus checks, and that next stimulus package is heating up. It's heating up as the U.S. Treasuries remain relatively calm this morning. The U.S. Treasury mark was at 1.6 and then went to 1.613. This is good news, because while you may be a viewer who is fighting for FPUC Retro, or fighting for SSI and SSDI, or fighting for hazard pay, let me make something very clear. All those amounts are far less than six checks of $2,000. Six checks at $2,000 or $12,000 is a lot more money than $2,400 of SSI, a lot more money than hazard pay, and a lot more money than FPUC retro. Now, the Democrats have not said the amount of the check, but they said they want it monthly, and they want it to the end of the year. Now, here's another rub. If you want a, a reference point, here's a very interesting reference point. Earlier today and last night, I broke the news that that $3,600 child care tax credit where they pay $3,600 to children under the age of five, or $3,000 to children under the age of 17 to 6? Well, guess what? Some Democrats want to pay upwards of $3,000 every year for 18 years for 18-year-olds and younger. If they're willing to spend that type of money, then they're certainly willing to spend $6,000 to $12,000 of, of stimulus checks in the next stimulus package. This is really great news. So what else are you getting in this third stimulus package in addition to the stimulus check? Let me go over all those details right now because there's a lot of money available for you. And I don't want you in any way to say, uh, God bless, I got a $14 stimulus check. Let me go buy some Bitcoin and I'll see you in a few months. Because that's not what you should be doing. You should be taking the stimulus check and immediately trying to get the other money that's available for you under third stimulus. Because it will be a couple weeks until fourth stimulus lands in your bank account. So let me go over the money that's available for you under third stimulus in addition to the stimulus check. Unemployment is extended to September 6th at $300 a week. Your PUA will now be 79 weeks, previously 50 weeks. PUC will now be 53 weeks, previously 24 weeks. Your first $10,200 of unemployment in 2020 is now tax-free if you made less than $150,000. Also really exciting great news is COBRA is now free. COBRA premiums will be free from April 1st to, May to September 30th. The federal government will be paying for them. And then all premiums thereafter will be no more than 8.5% 8 of your adjusted gross income. Meantime, there's, an there's a wonderful child care tax credit. How does that work? You can deduct up to 50% of your child care costs on your 2021 tax return. That's for $4,000 for one child or $8,000 for two or more. The age limit is 13 and under. And what about that child call, that child check? Well, this is really incredible great news. That child check is paid $3,600 or $3,000 if the child is five and under or 17 to six. It's an advance in your 21, 2021 taxes. It will be paid to anyone who makes less than $75,000 single individual or $150,000 married couple. It'll start to pay in the month of July per month. No requirement for unemployment is at issue or anything else. Then, hazard pay. Hazard pay is in the third stimulus package, not by name, but by principle. It's the earned income tax credit, now increased to 1502 for anyone 19 years or older who made less than $25,000 during the pandemic. 
And then there's incredible money for rent. $27 billion is allocated for housing, and that can include financial hardship just indirectly because of the pandemic. Housing for low-income, middle-class, and more across the board. There's also mortgage assistance for people who need help with utilities and other housing costs. Finally, there's assistance for restaurants, and that money is really quite needed. This is certainly one of the things the president will talk about while doing his tour this week. The rent restaurant grant is calculated by subtracting 2020 revenue from 2019 revenue, up to $10 million per lo- entity or $5 million per location. Finally, as this is your business lunch, get ready for the EIDL grant. Business lunch, deliciousness. The EIDL grant will be five thousand dollars exactly if you had less than a if you had less than ten employees and you had a loss between thirty to fifty percent on your twenty twenty one tax return because of the pandemic. When will these things go live? This is singularly the most important thing and reason to subscribe to this channel. The EIDL grant will go live on SBA.gov anytime, any moment, and when it's open, it will run out of money likely within three days I'm reporting, even though it will be open for 14 days. The restaurant grant will also be the same and also at SBA.gov. The rental and housing grants will be sent to your states, counties, and cities. You will have to apply for them locally there. Hazard pay you'd get by claiming it as an earned income tax credit on your 2021 tax return. Then um, there is the earned ink, the, the child credit of 3600 of 3000 That is automatic, providing that IRS knows the child exists. And finally, that child care tax credit, which is the money for if you have child care costs, is something you can put on your 2020 tax return. And as I've been detailing over recent days, that money of $10,200 that you want for unemployment benefits, that is a fix that you have to put on your tax return. So what about forced stimulus and what about U.S. Treasuries? Well, as you sit here this, af- this afternoon, it's important to know that the U.S. Treasuries remain calm. They're at 1.6% in advance of that FOMC meeting tomorrow this week. But a really shocking report from Goldman's chief, U.S. chief strategist says that we can go to 2% and fine. 2%? If you watched me over the weekend, I said, I am worried if U.S. Treasuries go to 1.7% that you could see an implosion of the stock market. But Goldman's new advisor says that you should be content with 2% and not worry about it. Elsewhere, AMC is trading up with the news that it's opening its locations across Los Angeles. Ford is dealing with the recall of 2.7, 2.9 vehicles. Dollar General has now been upgraded to overweight. And United Airlines and other airline stocks showing trading up mostly today on news that travel is up. But here's a major twist just minutes ago. Just before I went live on camera, the CDC issued a new order saying it's advising people not to travel unless it's absolutely necessary. It is still concerned about a third wave, despite confusion of whether there would or wouldn't. Germany is going back on lockdown. Italy is facing a lockdown. And while there's questions of whether there is enough doses in our system or not, there is concerns that there could be another wave across the board. Noontime Ally continues with two more shows in which I go over more about the direct deposit of your stimulus check, especially about Direct Express and the tracking tool. And so with that, if you've not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, like this video. And with that, I'll see you in just a second as Noontime Home Ally continues on this channel.